Yeah, what's good people? Glad you guys have come to join back to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get down to it. Disclaimer, I'm not a fan of reality TV and I'm not a fan of other people's business. I'm not a fan of drama. It's just something that I don't do. So before I get into this, I just wanted to cover that off, of, off first. So guys, we've all heard the news that Jada has had her red table talk with Will and all of that's come out. So I just thought I would address that very quickly before this even gathers any steam. Yeah, I just thought I'd talk about that. So this is just basically my opinion and my thoughts that I'm sharing with you guys. So here we go. So basically, first off, it's true. Jada did have a relationship with August, but that doesn't tell the whole story. And notice I said relationship, meaning that her and Will actually split up. They parted ways, emotionally detached, and went their own way. So that kind of covers whether she cheated or not. 99% of people who break up and sleep with another person, it doesn't count as cheating. Secondly, and this is the most important thing, the rumours about Will's permission, as we know, you know, who would give permission for their wife to go and sleep with other people? Now, it might happen in certain areas of life with other people, but innately, most people wouldn't do that. In this instance, those rumours are false. Will was effectively out of the picture, so Will didn't have a say. As between them, they went their own way. So it was Jada's decision to do what she did because at the time she was detached from Will. And I'm sure that it was challenging to admit and accept the truth of what happened. But if this was so bad, then why didn't they get a divorce? Now I get that Will quoted 10 years ago that he'd never want to go through another divorce again. But what's the answer? An open marriage? I mean, yeah, it works for some people, I guess. But being with somebody is about being with them 100%. Not 50%, not 75%. And for me, I appreciate both of them coming to the table with transparency. But my honest opinion is that August had no right to come out into the media with this bullshit, having to force Jada to go through all of this. Yeah, there's just no reason for her to do that. He's supposed to be a friend. Friends wouldn't do that to the people that they love and that they care for. Yeah? And I say this because it's nobody's damn business. People have to go through marriage problems together, not with the media and not certainly not with millions of fans. And the problem is, is why should we care? It's really down to us. We paint this picture like people with money don't have the same problems as we do. It's almost like we're saying we in ourselves aren't good enough. So we need celebrities to make us feel better. Well, as I said, I'm not into drama and I'm certainly not into reality TV. I don't sit down and watch other people live their lives on television. That's something I don't do. Now, I get that for other people. It might be great and it might be a good pastime, but my life is too busy for all of that. So I don't need other people's lives to make me feel better. You know, I've been with my wife for 27 years and I've loved her every day since. And I'm sure, you know, sure people drive you crazy, but that's what love is all about. If you remember, I believe it might have been Eddie Murphy or it might have been Chris Rock that said, it was, I think it was Chris Rock, that he said that if you've never felt like you wanted to kill somebody, then you ain't never been in love. Yeah, And it, yes, it's a joke, but it's kind of true because you go through all the trials and tribulation with partners. You know, people say, yeah, in a relationship you need love and you leave trust. Yeah, only a young person will tell you that. Because you need love and trust with your friends. But in a marriage, you need understanding, you need tolerance, you need communication. And you need acceptance. You need to accept the person for who they are. Yeah, That's the most important thing right there. Communication, you need to have the openness to talk to that person like your best friend. Even if it means that you feel that you're just getting something off your chest. Yeah, You have to be able to, to, to do that. Tolerance, we're all different guys. People like blue, some people like red. And coming together, you know, they say opposites attract, right? People are going to do things that sometimes might irk you. And those are the things that you have to get used to. If you want to be with somebody, you have to accept them for all their faults. That's what a marriage is all about. So let's not paint a picture like everything in everybody's life can be perfect. We all go through the same problems. Now, initially, guys, 
they've cleared the air now so for me it's time to move on and maybe everybody else should too and stop making such a big thing out of this when in fact it's grown people's business and if you want my own opinion then I'll, I'll tell you what, what, what I think from my perspective and for me this is all about Will Smith he looked really uncomfortable speaking about this and any man who loves his woman would do too if you read between the lines Will sounds like a man who's facing penance for those of you who don't know what that means, it's self-punishment and repentance for your own wrongdoing. And Will has stated many times, many times, that he's hurt Jada, and he's admit to failing miserably in their 21-year-old marriage. And since that time, Will and Jada have said they've done a lot of work on their marriage and they've admitted that they don't refer to each other as married. They don't really treat each other like that in terms of in the media and to each other. To me, they're two friends that love each other dearly, and they're the greatest of friends and they choose to call themselves life partners and this means that they have gone through the pain and made it out of the other end and some people can't do that some people won't do that some people don't have the energy to achieve this they did and in my opinion and in my experience good luck to them i hope that they're both happy with where they are in life because money cannot buy you love so that's just a little bit of what i think I'd love to hear what you guys' opinion is on this because obviously it's going around in the media right now. Everyone's going nuts about it. So that's why I thought I'd better cover this and talk about it and give you guys my opinion. And that's it from me, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now. Hit that like button. This is a new channel. It's only been going for a month. And this channel is kind of all about my views and my opinions on life. So that's why I thought I needed to address this. So that's it from me, guys. Thank you for all of your support. Love you guys channel wouldn't be here without you. Peace out.